Welcome to Stop the Madness. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Stop the Madness. I'm your host, The Kid Plot, my co-host, Isaac Cotto. In the building. We are back in the building with another great episode for you guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications bell as well so you guys are notified when we come out with more videos. Today, what are we talking about? We got, we got a video here from our, our boys at the Whatever podcast. There's a, there's a clip talking about marriage. Okay. And I think uh, it's it's an interesting clip because, you know, I'm married. You're a single guy. So we're going to check out this clip and, and react to it. All right, let's do it. I don't think men should get married, hot take, because of the financial ramifications of divorce. While it is certainly the case that some women will pay men child support or alimony, my understanding is that 90% of child support payments go from men to women, and 97% of alimony payments go from men to women. So to be fair, in the court system, there is a bias against men. However, like if you're a man and you're the breadwinner, which is still the majority of relationships, I don't recommend it for men. How do you vet people to date and pursue a relationship? Because wouldn't you be able to catch like, oh, Oh, she's just after me for my money. She doesn't actually take an interest in me. But okay, here's the thing. More than 50% of marriages end in divorce. So how many people who get married, they're on their wedding day, they probably think, yeah, this is it. This is the one, this is yeah. for life. And then one year, two year, three years go by and then they're divorced. Yeah, I mean, facts, facts, yeah, I facts, mean, facts. It's hard to disagree. Facts. Well, I mean, if, if we ask the question, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what is marriage in 2024, but not only what is marriage, but like, should, yeah, should men get married in 2024? Well, I think that, that they, um, they definitely, sh if they're in love with their, you know, partner, girlfriend, um, I think that they should get married, but I think that it should be, uh, without the government. I think that it should be something, uh, a commitment, a commitment between you and your girlfriend or girlfriend, which are, you know, boyfriend. And I think that it just needs to be done between you two. You guys can get married, have a formal wedding at a, at, at, at a church, the beach, wherever you want to have it. You go through the whole process, buy the ring, do the whole spiel, minus signing any paperwork where the government is involved. Why? Just because the men take a L whenever there's a divorce. Even if you sign a prenup, if you have a kid, that prenup doesn't really matter that much. If you have a child with them, they're going to still get a big portion, if not half, of what you're. Well, I mean, child what support. You, what you've earned. Child support is regardless if mm -hmm. you're married or not. Mm -hmm. So, having a child and being married, and having a child and not being married, it, it really. That's when what it comes I'm to child support, that doesn't change anything. Yeah, but it's not. A lot, but the child support, depending on what you make, is going to be determined based on your income. Sure. So, if you get married and you have a child with that person. It's she's going to be the beneficiary if there's a divorce that happens more than you are. So I just think it's an L if, if shit hits go south. And based on statistics, but do you, men, do you men, women L, are the ones that the L is because of the child support issue. No, I'm well, no, no, no. What I mean is you, you're not only going to be paying money because of child support. A lot of times women, like he said, will get alimony as well. Right. I mean, it, de it depends. But yeah. OK. Mm hmm. I mean that I think that is a difference between a partner and this, but I mean, yeah. on the legal sense, there's there's an another side mm -hmm. as far as legally what what's the difference between a uh, a spouse and a partner, right? So you have a God forbid you have a major accident and you're in in the hospital, your partner can't walk in the hospital, your partner can't make any decisions, okay. your partner can't look out for your best interests. Your partner, you know, they're so, so but in what situation if there's an accident and your wife, even though it's not signed by a judge or, or however it gets, you know, the, the legal proceedings are when, it, when you get the government involved in your in your marriage uh, or if you go to City Hall. Right. So whatever the, pr the procedure is, what what's the, are they going to ask you at the hospital? Hey. Can we see your paperwork to make sure that you guys are legally? They don't nobody asks. They don't ask that. They, they oh, that's my husband. Husband, it's a done deal. They, yeah, I mean, maybe at, when you're rushing <laughs> in the hospital, but yes, that that is an issue. Like, you know, are you they are you legally married or your boyfriend girlfriend? No, that's my husband. Where, you, where did you get married? Like, that is an issue. When it comes to decisions, your medical mm -hmm. care, if they're not your spouse, they can't make decisions regarding your medical care. Okay, then the versus, next, then the family member will then. Again, it's one of those things. Maybe you don't have a good relationship with your family members. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. But you 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 love your partner. You mm. trust this partner. You did this, but guess what? She can't she can't do shit for you yeah. in the hospital. But I'm telling you that I'm just saying yeah. what are some of the differences between a partner and a spouse, right? Well, again, like to me, you can still to me is she's still your spouse whether you get married with having the government involved in your marriage or not. I think that commitment is between each that couple. It's between them. That's my husband. This is my wife. Here's the ring. Like we went through all the proceedings minus the government saying yes, they're husband and wife now. Like I don't think I need the government to tell me that I'm married. I mean, you could have five wives if, if you don't have the government involved, but there's some legal. Yeah. Uh, so you're uh, talking about it from a legal, legal. Right. I mean, that's what we're talking about. At, at the end of the day, the <clears throat> issue of why get married legally? Well, um, if my wife was from the Dominican Republic mm. and I love her with all my heart, whatever, guess what? If I'm not legally married, mm. I can't bring her to live with me in the United States, well, of right? Course, of course. I got to legally. So you're giving married. reasons as to why it's right. beneficial legally. If, I got you. If, okay. you know, I've been with this partner, tw- like, unless you're very, which is very few, but unless you're very meticulous with your personal stuff, like you have a, a trust in place and you have documents, a, a medical directive and all these documents yeah. signed saying Jane Doe, my partner yeah. has the, the power and the ability to make the decision to pull the plug, to yeah. do this, do that, or, or, or sign off on this kind of treatment or that kind of treatment. But man, it's very few people that put in the time and effort to make those things happen where if she's your spouse or he's your spouse, they, they can make those decisions. And you, you would hope that the person you're with is going to look out for your best interest. Now the flip side, I mean, yes, child support is child support, regardless if you're married or not. And yes, there are cases. There's no here in Georgia. There's no fine line on, on, on spousal support or alimony. It's basically, your, your ability to pay and the necessary, you know, do they really need it? That kind of thing. The judges look at that. But there's no hard rule. Not everyone's guaranteed alimony, right? Yeah. So um, if she's well off and has a lot of money, she doesn't need alimony. But if she has no skills. But we just saw 97% of the case of divorces, women win alimony. Yeah, I That's mean. That's a huge percentage. I, I, I don't know where he got his stats from, but I know in Georgia, there's no hard, hard line on alimony. That's here in Georgia. Okay. But well, the question is. a lot more than just Georgia in, in, in the United States. Sure, so. sure. I mean, but the, the question is, what is the benefit? So you're saying, yeah, get no, married. No, I, I, think, I think that, like what you just mentioned, okay, okay, those are benefits, but my, you know, my girlfriend, none of my girlfriends were illegal, so I don't need to bring them from Dominican Republic or anywhere because they're already here. <laughs> you know, a lot of them, most of them are already legal. Um, they're citizens. If they're not citizens, they're legally here. So I, I have never ran into that situation myself. Um, now, obviously, everyone's case is different when it comes to that. But I think there's more, I think there's more negatives than there is benefits. Now, obviously, you're, you know, you're married, so you might see it differently. But, you know, until the divorce, no, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. No, no, no. I mean, look, uh, you, you, I think. Yeah. I, I, I'm a big believer in it's stages in life, right? Like when you got you got divorced once, right? I was divorced once. So was I, every- I got married with nothing and I got divorced with nothing. So okay. I lost nothing. Nothing, got right? it. Right, right? So it's all stages in life. If yeah. I'm a 50-year-old getting married for the first time, well, if, if I'm worth my salt, you know, I've, I've probably done some things in my life. I do have some assets. I may, may I, I've had a career. I yeah. have this, that, the other. And I get into this relationship, if she's a 45-year-old, 40-something-year-old, or 30-something-year-old, yes, that's where you do things to protect yeah. yourself. Yeah. It sounds... It's very, it, it's very sick. You get a prenup. It, yeah, but see, here's the thing, though. You think you think Jeff Bezos didn't get a prenup? No, he didn't. He didn't He didn't get any type of anything. So he, that's so why look, he, he cut that check. She's the wow. richest woman in the world. I thought she, I thought but, somebody that and, rich would but be... But she was, she was with his ass when he had a little table... Mm-hmm. For for Amazon, right? Like yeah. you know, she was there from day zero. Yeah. Like day zero. Like I think it's a different scenario where yeah. like, hey, you know. But you see, that's the reason why I say the man will take an L. Like you just said, she was there from day zero. Now he run. He got married. Now he gets into the position where he's the richest man, second richest man in the world, and now she's also top what twenty richest person in the world because of him. So it's like, you know, those are the type of L's that we're talking about that. You know, this girl, this woman gets divorced and now she can do what she wants and she's filthy rich. Huge, huge 
win for her, right? But mm-hmm. you know, again, you don't, I don't know the details of Jeff Bezos. I yeah. I don't know if she, what she helped them through this, that, the other. But I I think there's a lot of scenarios where, you know, a young couple gets married. They both don't have nothing. There's kids involved, and now, by default, mom, you know, she's unable to really pursue with things she wants to pursue because there's a child. That that's not a one person decision. If right? Jeff Bezos wouldn't have got married. Legally, with the government involved, he wouldn't have had to write no check. Right. Yes, that's true. That's that's the argument. Yeah, I mean, I, that's the argument. I, I think that they're, they they could have easily they could have just got married. The hell, you know what, babe? Listen, I'm gonna create this little word document, and I'm gonna sign it off. And here you sign. Here's our commitment paperwork between me and you. We're gonna put this motherfucker in the lockbox. And we're married now. Here's the ring. We're gonna go have a wedding. We're going by everybody. We'll do it at the beach. We'll do it. We'll do all the same uh, yeah, too shit. Too many women. Look. They, yeah. No, they're not gonna agree. But uh, I'm just saying, yeah, like, I mean, the, I, that's the, if if it's really about marrying me, we're getting married. If if you want a feminine woman, we're getting married. If you want a feminine woman, <laughs> right? You want a woman. She's gonna want to feel protected. She's gonna want to feel secure, right? The the whole well, idea. Why does the government need to be involved for her to feel secure? Well, there's a level, there's a level of security. So she don't trust you. She trusts the there's government. There's a level. No, there's a level. She don't trust you then. What do you mean? If you need the government to get involved, that means you trust the government more than your than the person no, you're married. No, it's a sign of the level of commitment from the man. That the government is gonna no, no, force. If you if you're willing, if you're willing to sign mm-hmm. to say I'm your wife. Right. So right? in other words. Babe, I love you, but I need you to make sure that the government holds you accountable. You don't trust me? That's not enough? That's pretty much what you're saying to me. Yeah, but then on the flip side, mm-hmm. we don't get married legally. And you then it's me, the same thing. You leave me out, you leave oh. me out on the street with, without shit, and you don't have you, to, you're off and running, right? I mean, you don't, No one says you don't have to work. You can work. No, 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 no. You got a job. A, let's backtrack. There's a lot of mm-hmm. scenarios where the spouse has stood home, took care of kids. Mm-hmm. With, that whole concept of like, Oh, we've been together 20 years. You know, there's three kids in the house. Now we get divorced. Go mm-hmm. ahead and, and now support you. Create a career in six months mm-hmm. when you missed out on creating that career for the last 20 years because mm-hmm. you're taking care of my kids. I think that, that is, there's, a un, there's an unrealistic, unfair balance there, right? Like, there's, yeah. it's inherently, it's understandable. Like, damn. Like, yeah, okay. I mean, I, I hear what, it's I, different if, if she said, hey, because of me, the business is running and this and this and that and the other. Okay. That's a different argument, but she's incapable of creating that career. This, that, that you've had the opportunity yeah. to grow your career. You had the opportunity to grow this, that, the other, and she's home taking care of the kids. But where, but in what aspect of life is there not unfair balances? There's unfair balance. Un, there's unfair balances or imbalances in life. So when you say, oh, that's just an unfair, sh- no shit, life is not fair. There's always going to be an unbalance towards the women's side, towards the men's side. That's always the case. Mm-hmm. So you can't just take all the good. You got to take the good with the bad as well. That's part of the bad for them. And then we have some negatives that we have. What we got to do, go out to work. That's not a negative, but we the ones that got to be the breadwinner. We the one that got to go out there, provide. All you doing is chilling uh, at the uh, crib. Again. So that's like, just like you could benef- take the good, you got to be willing to take the bad if the, if you the one that says I'm done I'm pulling the I'm pulling uh, the cord uh, again if you <laughs> want a, a a female that that's very feminine mm-hmm. she's gonna want to want security okay. any female the same way I think then don't a, get a divorce as as a man then don't divorce your husband. Well, I mean, sometimes sometimes the, what? Hus- the husband wants to divorce the wife. That's that happens. <laughs> so have shit. How, like, do you know how often that but, happens? But I mean, but all you need in a divorce is one person. But do you know how often that happens? It's it, very low. It's almost not even talk. You don't even talk. I mean, we don't even happens, need to talk about it. But at the end of the day, all you need to get divorced oh, it is happens. One, one person. It happens. Do you realize that it snows in Florida sometimes? Ah, ah. Let's talk. Hey, listen, no, it no, snows no. in Miami the, sometimes. The, re- the reason why <laughs> a lot of men don't initiate the divorce is mm. why. Why do you think? Because they don't want to take the L. Facts. <laughs> that's that, the whole that, that's reason. True. But that doesn't that's mean they the don't want to get divorced. And a lot of women do it because they want the W. <laughs> that's what we're saying. And, yes. But again, <laughs> the, the whole issue, I think there's a difference in the stage of life. Okay. Right? You can't, you can't come in a scenario where you're 27 years old and you pick up a 25-year-old that basically at this point should be starting her career. And doing, okay. But, but if you say no. 
I got you. No career. So, 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 no nothing. You're, you're regulated to the house. Yeah. It's a joint decision. Yeah. You're going to be sacrificing your career. I'm going to work in the career. But 20 years later, we get divorced. I think it's unreal to say, hey, Jane, uh, thank you for all the time and effort. Now go create a career that I've been working on developing for the last 20 years. So just to be clear. So, so nine out of 10 times, the guy, when you get divorced, you're like, fuck that bitch. I don't want to give her nothing. Mm. But because legally you got married, you can't just do that. But if it was just like, no, this is a trust contract yeah. between you and you. You're my wife. And 20 years later, you're like, peace, bitch. I'm out of here. I got a 20-year-old. You're a pain in my ass. I ain't giving you shit. Go figure it out. But that, doesn't, but that, doesn't, but, that doesn't happen very, that's very, very, very seldom. What? That does, <laughs> Dude. Bro, all you got to do is look at stats. There, Don't talk there, about your friends. There are plenty, <laughs> there are plenty of guys mm. that find the hot younger girl and leave their wives. That happens Plenty all, of guys. All the time. Oh, really? So, oh, so now you sound like when... There's a lot of trans. We got trans all over the place. And they're the minority of the population. Uh, okay. But there's a lot of trans. But I guess they're a lot now. But, but We're but, not going based on comparisons. My, my, it's not about comparisons. It's about there's a lot of them. My, my argument. There's a lot of them. Of course. Oh, man. Yo. Uh, freaking my new app has a million people on it. Damn, it's a lot. Yeah, uh, Instagram has over a billion users. So comp comparatively, that's not a lot, sir. It's Look, not I, a lot. You, you know, I, I just think. <laughs> You know, you cannot you cannot expect mm. a twenty year marriage where you're not gonna take care, especially because you have the woman has been handicapped in the ability to to gen generate revenue. Like she she has not had the ability, and it's a joint decision. So you can't at the end of that be like, ah, well, you did you didn't have so, a career, so you just didn't to, make anything. So just to be clear. Um, so you, so you're on the side of getting married with the government involved. I, I mean, I, yes. Cause there, there's certain things I want my wife to be able to do when I pass away, okay. when, when legacy wise, like name wise. Okay. And you know what? I pass away. If, if we're together, right. as long as I hope we are, I don't, I don't think she'll hook up with somebody else in the next year, but you know, I pass away and five years later she remet, but my legacy and there's certain things I want her to handle as Mrs. Cotto. Okay. Right? So those are things that I want in place. Got you. But uh, I also realize, you know what? You know, if she's at the house taking care of the baby and I say, I don't want you to have a career, I got to be willing. If something fucks, if, I, if something happens, I got to be able to, I got to understand what's coming my way. So Cotto says. Yep. And Kid Plot says. Yep. All right, but <laughs> you can always get a prenup. Like you could get a prenup. Yeah, but them prenup, uh, them prenups ain't. I don't know, man. I've heard a lot of bad stories about these prenups, know, man. A prenup is everything before the marriage. That's yeah. all yours, right? Anything, whatever it is that you have. But from this day forward, you get married and you build something together. Yeah, yeah. What if you build it yourself? You're just together. <laughs> I mean, you just you build it yourself. But we're together. She ain't had nothing to do with this. All well, she did was say, "How'd it go, babe?" Nigga, that ain't uh, participating. Look, How'd it go? The, the, it went good. Me. Good job, babes. Try, try, I, I feel I feel sorry for for the athletes, for the athletes, the, the performers, the guys that play sports and have to put in hours and hours, and then you know they got to cut. Half their check, but that's why you always need. No, to I mean you made a yourself. no, no. You made a valid point though, um, as far as like you know, if you pass away and you know you want somebody to handle that, but as far as and also like the um, hospital stuff, you know. So you made some some valid points. I just don't think those are enough for me to get legally married. Yeah, if I would get says, married. Look, I would, I, if you love me, you want me to have your kids, da da da, and you're like, baby, I love you so. Like, we need to get married. Like, you're not gonna, you're just not gonna take me to the beach and say we're husband and wife. Like, I want us to get legally married. You're gonna be like, and then I'm gonna ask you, why do you want it legally? What, what do you need? Why do you want the government like, involved? Again, she's gonna have to give I, me I some want security. I, when, when so my word is not enough. No, they want no. security. Then we shouldn't get married. There you go. But that's what it is. The same thing. If it why, ain't enough why, for you, then why, it ain't why, enough. Why do you buy a ring? <laughs> Because that that why? that should be the security right why, there. Why you bitch? I done ring? paid 10, 20 grand on this ring for you. They, that they, should be enough they security. Ring. They want to be married, ma'am. I gave this is a twenty thousand dollar diamond ring. If that ain't enough security to let you know my commitment, I don't know what is. Ay, ay, ay. 
That's enough right there. You know how much money that is? That's a lot of money. That that, that a lot of a lot of time invested to get you that ring. I, I I think I think there's nothing wrong with the government. The whole the way the system is set up mm-hmm. is the way it's set up, right? Because yeah. if you don't, there would be a there's a lot of abuse of the system, right? Women abuse it all the time. I see it all the time. It's unfair when it comes but when it comes to protecting yourself as a man, there are things in place. If yeah. you if you come to the table and you're offering a lot, you should protect yourself. But like I said, I was married, I got married with zero. I got divorced, I had zero. I didn't have a prenup. Yeah. I, I paid child support. Well, guess what? I'm gonna pay child support anyway. Well, of course. But she didn't take anything from me. I didn't have nothing. It's different if you come to the table with something. That's a, yeah, a lot of times those moms be taking that those that the the child support and using it for themselves. They can use it they for whatever they it, want. They don't be buying their kids nothing. Well, I've seen it all. I've seen. They don't it be all. buying them kids no clothes. I've seen it all. They they, they ain't got no shoes. He over here barefoot. Nails, they get nails they, done. Exactly. They get it all exactly. done. I've seen it exactly. all. Exactly. You're a thousand percent <laughs> correct. It is absolutely crazy. You know, they get two thousand dollars a month in in child support. And eighteen for you for them. They here, son, two hundred bucks. And, yeah. Food, little little pay less shoe source shoes. For, for a seven month old that with fifty bucks you can buy them six months of clothes. Mm-mm-mm. But anyway, if you agree, disagree, please comment below and like always like and subscribe mm-hmm. and we see y'all soon. Peace. Peace. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and click here. If you want to see more videos like this, click here.